I, I want to tell you about, about, about Uncle Lionel. No, Uncle Lionel, when he left, did we care? We, we were very, we were very, you know, negligent in the way we treated him. Because we'd call him to one thing, like, you know, like when you, you know, like a boutique kind of a relationship with him. You know, when you go to a boutique, you go once in a while. Because boutiques are expensive, you know, they're exclusives. You, you can't afford to, to go to them all the time unless you are rich. That's how we treated him. We treated him like a, some kind of a boutique, in, you know, like, oh, Uncle, Uncle, Uncle we we're going to have a, a conference today or a seminar here, and then can you come and make a little speech? And he was like a little prop. The Chinese understand their dynasties and they make use of them. That's why even the Arabs, they understand the power of the Ayatollah. Japan, same, they understand the power of their dynasties. They understand the power of their elders. That, that is where you mine your wisdom. And nobody cared to put him down and say, Uncle Lionel, let us just have this discussion just on the African film landscape. Tell us what you know and tell us what you think and advise on how we should move forward. And just do a proper chat with him. And when you put down these pillars that he's talked, he talks about, you put them down while he's still there and he can see that the future is in good hands. Saturday we will do a Lionel Ngakani Award. This was a, what do Edim Balo as the CEO of Philento, the NFVF, wished to see. Even Ulibon, I think Ulibon was actually the one driving it. And what, what, what did it amount to? To nothing. We can't even put one little award for Uncle Len and say, you know, for best filmmaker, because he was a, <laughs> an abundantly talented uh, filmmaker, Uncle Len. We don't even do that. Now we leave it in the family's hands, which is, I think, also an important landmark that you are taking on that baton and saying, you know what, let the spirit live. Let the spirit live. And that is very important, what you are doing. But what I'm saying is that we take the treasures that we have for granted. We trample on them, and then we praise them when they are dead. So the distortion of who we are has really, has come a long way and we're not doing anything to redress it properly. And I think Uncle Lionel is an epitome of that distortion that we've had for so long, that we had people like Uncle Lionel. I'm talking about him, I wish he could talk about himself first. So that when I come in to talk about him, I just do it as an affirmation and a confirmation of who he was but not because he's not there anymore. That voice cannot be heard anymore. And we did not take advantage of it while it was still alive. To hear its aspirations, to hear its desires, to hear its fears, we never took the advantage of doing that while he was still alive.